Silent Sky, um, something about um, space. Space to the music, space to the keyboards, space to uh, Tom's voice, giving space, giving time. Is it? Um, well, thank you for, for your kind words. That, that means a lot. And really, I think, yeah, that, that's certainly part of it. I mean, for us, it's, it's almost like, you know, it's, it has to do with doing a lot with a little and sometimes it's not necessarily a little some of the arrangements can actually be quite elaborate but it's it's really about you know tom and i are both known prior to this project for doing some quite bombastic intense music and with silent skies you know the whole point of it is that you can take a piano on a vocal and not dress it up too much beyond that but a good song is a good song and so you know there's definitely the way we write is such that there is a lot of space between ideas and things are given time to grow. You know, we don't write particularly short songs and that's just because, you know, everything needs to take its time and it needs to go at the pace that it needs to go. Silent Skies, I'm using just the piano with some embellishments. And in both of those cases, it's kind of like dealing with the confines, the constraints of you know, these are my tools, the piano, the synthesizer, whatever, you know, how far can you go with that tool? And the amazing thing of the piano, and I think the reason why I played the piano all my life is that you can say so much with the piano and you can say very delicate things, you can say very intense things. So it's not just about the register, which goes very low to very high, but you know, the dynamics and the expression and you can have sustaining things and percussive things and I love that I have not one, oh, I lost my little light. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have not one, but two projects in which I can showcase how much the piano and keyboard is capable of doing, which is, which is really special. I think a lot of keyboard players don't get that. So yeah. you know, I'm really fortunate for that. Yeah. And um, even for Tom, I think uh, Silent Sky is, is uh, it's an it's a way for him to um, to go singing in an, uh, another register. Yeah, yeah, very much so. That was actually conscious because when he reached out to me in 2017, part of wow, this light is really not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, part of what Tom wanted to do was he wanted to express a side of his voice that has always been there. But I think fans don't know that it's always been there because he has a reputation of being this big power voice and he's so good at that. But he's also, he's very sensitive and he loves these kind of quieter dynamic things to sing and he loves folk music and pop music and acoustic music. And just like, you know, you wanted to show that not only can he do those things, but he can do those things as well as anybody you want to put him against. So it was kind of nice for a fan of Tom's because I've loved him for many years. It was really nice actually to watch him have the chance to show the world what he's got because, you know, I think he deserves a lot more credit than he gets in the progressive and metal and rock communities. Yeah, um, I'm not going to say that uh, Tom Englund is uh, an underrated voice. Maybe, may, maybe, maybe a little bit because when you um, hear him singing in um, in, in that song uh, "Solitude," uh, we hear the, the feelings, we hear the emotion. We can listen to um, his heart singing, not only technique. Yeah, yeah, and I I would say he's underrated, perhaps for the reason that. I think in, in metal and in rock, people really glorify a certain type of singing that's based on physical histrionics more than emotion. Like how high can you sing and how loud can you sing and how and you know how long can you hold a note and, and things like that. It's like almost like, like the Olympics for voice. And I I respect that a lot and I kinda grew up with that. But I at the same time, you know, I don't think people appreciate enough how much 
true skill it takes to, you know, sing within maybe an, an octave as opposed to like three and still say so much and like sing one word and your audience feels it, you know, right here. That that's something that's a special gift and I don't think any amount of like pure balls to the wall power is going to be able to compete with that. At least for me. I have my own tastes as a, a listener and I know that not everyone may agree, but that's how I feel. 